What's up, people? Welcome to the stream. Uh, not really a stream, more like video. Uh, we're here, as you can see, it's with PK Thunder Thighs. So, uh, from the last video, we became a menace to society. Um, <laughs> but uh, what we're doing today, if you haven't noticed, in the top right there of the screen, is we are basically restarting all over Realm Reborn. Uh, somehow, some way, I lost all the VODs from the beginning of the Let's Play. Don't know how that happened, I apologize. So what I'm doing instead is I'm going to re-record them. You will see, however, that I am level 65, so any of the like forced battles that don't sink you down, they're going to be very easy. I'm going to be breezing through it. Um, the reason why we're doing this, though, is just to keep you all caught up, because when we started back on this... Uh, I like that outfit. Sorry, I get I get squirrel. Um, <laughs> cashmere poncho. That's cute. What are those pants? Ooh, what are those pants? Virtue Goisha something. Um, but anyway, um, when we started back up with the let's play, we started in Heaven's Word. So y'all missed all of 2.0 content because I lost those vods. So, but we are here now. Uh, we're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this going. <coughs> And go from there. So, starting from the very first quest of A Realm Reborn. Mamodi of Quicksand wants to introduce you to a certain someone in Uldah's yard. Reward unattainable in New Game Plus mode. <laughs> well, Younglin, how are you finding our fine Uldah then? Got your barons about you yet? If so, mayhap it's time you ventured beyond the city walls. The bustling streets of Uldah are one thing, but the wilds of Thanalan, that's another altogether. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to, and he you. Name of Papa Sean. You'll find him over in Ulda's dispatch yard. No doubt, he'll have some work for you. The dispatch yard's over in central Thanalan. Just head out the doors across the hall, and you'll see the Gate of Nalb staring right back at you. Pass through it and head east. You'll come upon, you'll come upon it for long. The danger's beyond the wall, though, more than I'd care to count. Nothing's too terrible, mind you, but feisty enough to attack if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. Other part of this. Due to us being what level we are and such, um, we'll be able to mount. It's not something that you normally can do this early on. But again, this is the new Game Plus version that we're doing. So it lets us relive everything and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'll be able to mount. I'll be able to fly. All that kind of... I have a battle chocobo. We're pretty much just doing this to um, get us through and get us caught up story-wise for those who missed it, those who are interested, all that kind of stuff. Normally, though, like I said, you have to walk all the way over here. Okay? But here is Papa Sean. Well, you certainly look a part of an adventurer, my friend. Do I? <laughs> might, you be in the good soul might you be the good soul Mamodi advised me to expect? Hmm? I am Papa Sean, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I truly no, am no more than a tired old Lalafell passing his final years in quiet and in, in quiet and solitude. Twelve no, there have been plenty of both these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now true old downs work together, doing all in our power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt old to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways which run through the dispatch, this dispatch yard, too, were born of the noble efforts of a great many souls. But there is so much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond our lines of supply r remain, and there are places yet wanting of relief, or for relief and restoration. Uldan needs the aid of you and your brethren, friend, in fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point. I suppose I do believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability. You don't get XP, you don't get nothing. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. It just so happens a number of sentries have been sent to guard this area. A, dis a dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. They have long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The the hot days and cold nights can play hells on the mind and body out here. 
It isn't much, but go and give them these twilight pretzels, would you? I find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing myself. Ah, comfort food when you're feeling suicidal, it's fine. Don't mind the whale. Halt, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to put that, put the pretzel on the ground and place your hands above your head. State your name and business. A twilight pretzel from Papa Sean. By the gods, forgive me. You could say the new post has my nerves in a twist. I am, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yes, well, you may rest assured that the dispatch artist is safe so long as I stand my watch. Please give Papa Sean my thanks and tell him that I only wish I could repay the favor. Again, flying's not normally a thing. Till way later. Someone's over there fighting a tortoise. We shall help. Did you get it, buddy? Did you do it? And he leveled. Look at him. Look at them go. Oh, but they got a, they got, they got a mount. So they're not new. Uh, Geek Girl from Aki Akihabara, Lum Cosplayer version 2022. They got the brand new ring, so that's bonus XP right there. There's 13 Gladiator. They have, ooh, only 10 are below, so there's no point in you wearing that anymore. Um, if you have the Friendship Circlet, that'd be much better for you. It goes up to level 25. Ooh, but then you have the Minfina's earring. The Minfina earrings. These work all the way up to level 80. And they, and they uh, level with you and stuff too, which is kind of cool. Uh, Western front clear, Eastern front clear. For me, from Papa Sean, a Twilight Pretzel, my favorite. How did he know? Can't fight on an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I can fight on any stomach. I suppose you could say I have no stomach for fighting. <laughs> I like doing mount roulette. It basically just gives me any mounts that I have. You can set it to only pull from your favorite list, which you can only put like, what is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 mounts in the roulette. I don't even ha I have a little over 30 mounts, but still, we don't talk about that. Um, but you're getting a little bit of everything that I have. So yeah, there's always, there's always that good fun. Well, save me. Scorching days, freezing nights. This post will be the end of me. A twilight pretzel. Don't mind if I do. Ah, now that's a refreshing goddamn pretzel. I feel reborn. <clears throat> you return, and with a deal fewer pretzels, I see. Tell me, how fair are Sultan's sworn sentries? Did they have anything to report? Anything at all? What? Nothing? Are you sure? Oh, I. Oh, oh dear. Take this for your troubles then, and stay a mem and stay a moment. There is more I would ask of you. Big Thunder, I have just this. M I have just this moment. No, no. The time for concealment is past. The truth is, even before I had you deliver those pretzels, I was privy to some most unsettling news, which is the real reason I sent you to meet those Sultan sworn. A young noblewoman, a very prestigious family. I apologize. My, my job texted me. I gotta, gotta fix that. A young noblewoman from a very prestigious family has run away from home, and I have been ordered to see her safe return. The Sultan sworn you met earlier are assisting with the search. Alas, it seems they have found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution. Should word of her disappearance spread, I fear others with less honorable motives may join the hunt. And should we allow her to come to any harm, not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment enough. This cannot happen, PK Thunder. I'm, it must not. I need you to help me find her. Don't worry, the mighty pumpkin head is on the case. Praise the twelve, I knew I could count on you. I've instructed the others to expand the search, but Thanalan is vast and there are only ma so many of us. The young noblewoman's name is Lady, uh, Lady Lilera. Lil I, I don't know how to say that. 
I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. Luckily, we can fly, we can fly. See, you just gotta give the fat kid some cake, he'll fly for you. Um, moving on. Ah, uh, yes. Hooded Lalafell. Oh, Sultan Tree. You're about to enter an instance battle. Instance battles only occur during certain quests and missions. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the Call of Duty. I will be synced down to level 8 for this. <laughs> so these ones aren't going to go by very fast. And the reason being is because it sinks you down so that you're not too high of a level. Um, but... The thing that they don't sink down is your gear. So my gear level is still going to be really high. Oy. I feel for them. I feel for them, my oh, child. Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line. Forgive How long has my this weakness. been voiceover? My failings have cost us dear. I don't remember this being voiceovered. Like, ever. What the hell? I mean, I'm not going to complain. A realm Kill reborn. Yourself. A realm reborn had like zero voice cutscenes until like towards the end. Then they started doing voice acted scenes. Hello, Thancre. As you command, oh Lilyra. Lilyra. Just walks right past me like I don't exist. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. And I'd prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. You must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilyra's protector in person. Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. So, <clears throat> just a note. In this particular situation, Dancred is a rogue. However, rogues hadn't been announced yet. Um, that's why he has a dagger instead of like a sword or something. Um, rogues didn't come out until like 2.3, 2.4, somewhere around there, I think. So it was very off-putting to see that the rogues were here. Nobody knew it at first. Rogues later become As for ninjas. you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. <laughs> please stay in harm's way. <laughs> I have like two, I have like two skills. But like, look. Oh, maybe it does sink my gear. What a dick. Oof, they fixed that, I guess. I got synced down, or sorry, level eight. I got synced to level eight. Although Tancred is attacking as if he's a paladin, or a gladiator, I mean, he's basically a rogue. Lovely, it brought friends. He's the big one to me, you handle the rest. Well, the 
Yes, they're dead. Stay close if you want me to get it. Take one punch to kill, so <laughs> oh, it's giving me XP for killing them. <laughs> so you still get XP for killing it, you just don't get XP for quests, which is fine. Which XP from killing stuff is negligible, cool. so. Unless you're doing like your um, your hunting log, if you're doing your hunting log, then I guess there's a little more to it. Oh yeah. We have found a crystal. So bright. Crystal Bearer. This part I remember being voice acted. I am Hydalen. All made one. A light there once was. That shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging in the end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Just a fucking menace, and it's great. Hey, look, another random person. Once another. So many people. Shine thy light 
coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm, if I only knew. A denizen of the Void, at any rate. The Void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? I mean, you're about the size I of a swaddled babe. I shall return and tell them myself. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then, do try and stay awake. Irritating that this is all voice acted now. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I just remember when me and Metal Shadow came through this, it wasn't. As far as I get, and I texted him too, and I was like, when since when was this voice acted? He's like, I don't think it ever was. Well, it is now. So Papa Shao! Thank the gods you've returned. You had us all so worried. You do realize what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to be injured or worse? Why, her grace the sultana would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I have already given you cause to weep, Papasan, you and the people of Ulda. Please, your... You're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It is it is not my place to make demands, my lady, but I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa Sean. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. Let the curtsy and then wanders off. Again. Another little curtsy and wanders off. Head nods, wanders off. Me looking menacingly. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough, PK Thunder. I understand you fought bravely to, prote to protect Lady Lilira from voice sent fiends. For your gallant service, you, res you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Hmm. A sarcastic man with strange contraptions strapped to his shoulder. I see you met Dencrit. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the Aether, rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Piggy Thunder, you're just the sort of adventurer we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thanalan as you did to us today. Bam, bam. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I resolve, I have resolved to repay my debt of gratitude which I owe to the owner of the coffin and co the coffer and coffin. 
For this purpose, I've purchased from the Royal Plantations a prodigiously plump pumpkin. Hey, hey, hey. That might be my new headgear. Uh, a particularly popular piece of produce. Alas, I cannot park this place for to produce... Uh, to procure and proffer the pumpkin. You see, the scheduled shipment from the Nanawa Mines, for which I wait, is late. I... I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to Gagari at the Royal Plantation and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend to this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. Always the whale. If Sosodia doesn't come calling soon, this, this spectacular specimen shall sadly be past its prime. Oh, so you're to deliver the de this decadent delight? I can say with confidence that any Gorman would be grateful for such a grand gift. Here is the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such, we are always uh, deluged with demand. You know the way to the coffin coffin, correct? It's beyond the bridge to the northwest look for a place where local laborers lounge i barely fit in this thing like <laughs> i actually really dislike this mount i can't lie it's i mean granted it's okay when it's flying but like if you don't have flight in the area it just looks really weird and yeah it, i don't like it when it's not flying you say. Uh, Roger. Drink for your laddie. You won't get better ale spirits for your coin than at me place. Nope, but I got a pumpkin for you. What's that? We Sisodia asked you to bring this here to me. Ha <laughs> ha. So even that foul mouth drunk knows the meaning of meaning of remorse. Reckon this is for the time I carried his drunk sudden ass back home. But hells, an honest to goods pumpkin from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks will do with her. The lads are scoff the lads here scoff down beastly amounts of meat and it's starting to tell on their health. It'll be good to get more vegetables in their bellies, assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for your help, Nettie. Alice, that's enough. The dog barks at everything, like <laughs> Word is, Blackbreast Station is sorely undermanned. The stone torches there can't get a moment's peace. Bloke by the name of Warren, uh, Warren is hop hoping to bolster their numbers for the short-term assignment or two. If you fancy putting a few extra gill in your pocket, you could do a lot worse. Two black brush. Try again. Same mount. Looking for work? Perchance, if so, you couldn't have come at a better time. We stone torches are cell swords hired by the Amazon Sun's mineral concern to protect its interests. Our primary duty here is to keep the tracks clear of pests, and it is for the purpose that we require your aid. I should point out, however, that you that it can be messy work and liable to get messier still if you're ill-prepared. A single piece of gear can mean the difference between life and death. I'll not have it on my conscience that I sent an ill-equipped adventurer to an untimely demise. See to it that your arms and armor are in order. When you are ready, present yourself to me again. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of level 5 or higher before returning to speak with him. Well, <laughs> you see about that. So you're ready for inspection. Good, everything appears in order. Yet know that not is guaranteed in this world. Fate is a fickle mistress, after all. At any rate, capable adventures like you are few and far between. And I would not have you throw your life away. If I had to bury... T I've had to bury too many comrades who brushed aside cracks in their uh, hauberks and dents in their helms. No matter what you face, do not disregard the importance of gear. Let's get to it then, shall we? Our wagons pass through the, the station every day, but not without incident. Wagons coming and going from the dispatch yard to the south must pass through the tunnel at, uh, by Pesca's watch. A tunnel in which some genius saw fit to put an ore storehouse. 
creating ideal conditions for a, co a goblin nest. So now the ore loving beasts have taken up residence in the tunnel. We dug and we're practic and we're practically delivering meals to their doorsteps. But no more in but no more. Inside the tunnel in question you will find a narrow fissure where the goblins hide. Use this silver ore cluster to lure out the creatures and slay them. So this part I don't believe is instanced. If it is, oh well, but it I don't think it is. And if it's not, we'll be done with it in a second because I can just do a couple AoE attacks and it'll be over with. Yeah, it's not instanced. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Again, normally that would take longer. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Uh, this is technically New Game Plus, so I'm level 65, going up against level 6s. It, it, yeah. Well done. I sh it shouldn't be easy work to keep the tunnel free of goblins, but our wagons should be able to go unmolested for a time. Disruptions to ore shipments threaten not only the interests of Amalja and Sun's mineral concern, but of Uldah herself. One might liken these train tracks to veins that bear our nation's lifeblood. If only we had more men like you to lend a hand. Ah, the altruistic adventurer. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Why? Because the most fascinating piece of news recently reached my ears, and I'm eager to share it. May I? Rumor has it that there is vast, untapped vein of ore beneath the ruins of Silda. Uh, but that is not all. Incon inconceivably, the concern appears to be entirely ignorant of its existence, and even as we speak, a young upstart, a self-made merchant from Stone's Throw of all places, is moving to claim it. The fellow's name is uh, Weiston, and he's a very, very ambitious young man. Not only does he intend to secure exclusive excavation rights, but they say his master plan is to use his new fortune to carry favor with the uh, with these uh, Sacrarian? Of course, the thaumaturges only consider the opinions of those most wealthy when drafting the new laws of Ulda. If you would have your voice heard, you must be prepared to pay a sultan's ransom. One voice which is invariably heard among those is Lord Lolorito. He has long lavished skill upon the thaumaturges, and some claim that he devises new laws with the expense, with the express intention of ruining his competitors while protecting his own interests. Suffice it to say, if Weston thinks he can compete with the likes of, of the Syndicate, he's in for a rude awakening. But that eventually may yet be a little way off. For the present, he is moving ahead with his plans and assembling a team to survey the site. I told him he's at, I, I'm told he's at the Coffer and Coffin right now recruiting able-bodied adventurers to escort his prospectors. Warren said you were looking for work. Mayhap you should meet Weston and volunteer for his expedition. Come to join? Sorry, but you're too late. Some brass blades looking for extra coin volunteered, and the team's already en route to the ruins. But look, I know it's not easy to find work these days. If you're interested, there's something else you can do for me. There are these children outside, little ones from Th Stone's Throw. I look after them when I have time to spare, and so they've taken to following me around, even when I tell them not to. But what but what with overseeing the search for the vein, I barely have a chance to visit the, pri visit the privy at the moment which less entertaining younglings. Can you give them these ginger cookies and convince them to go home for me? Oh, I suppose. I like playing with Weissen. He makes sure no one bullies us. Weissen's worried about us? Oh, I don't want to make him worried. I'm a good girl, so I'll go home. I ain't going nowhere, mister. I'm too hungry to move besides, so you'll have to carry me. Cookie. Well, if Weissen really wants me to go home, then all right. But I want, but I want two next time. Weissen's kind to us. I like him. This is for me. I want to eat it, but then again, I don't because it'd be gone. So Weissen thanks and tell him I'm sorry for getting in the way. But Weissen always plays with us. Why won't he come out and play? Wow, ginger cookie? I'd better save some for my brother. I know I'll go home and eat it with him.
Thank you, adventurer. I only wish I could do more. Stone store was no place for a child. N not that my childhood was much happier. Never enough food to go around, nor work to earn it. But no shortage of contempt from the great and the good. I remember thinking things would only get better, yet now, after the calamity and everything else, for us refugees to be forced to live outside the gates like bloody beastmen is a disgrace. They say that they say with enough money you can change the laws here, so I'm going to make a fortune and do just that. I'll buy, an, I'll, I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. Then I'll give my fellow refugees the work they're, they're crying out for, and I'll pay them fairly. The mining companies have profited from our suffering for too long, but in their hubris they've grown complacent, presenting us with a golden opportunity, and we will take it, adventurer. We will reclaim our dignity and with our place within those walls. We found her. We found the vein, Weston. You must come and see. Already? Amazing. We leave at once. You should join me, my friend. Come and bear witness to the history and the making. Instance fight. Proceed. I think it says sinking me down to eight again. Saul's balls, son, a vein of ore in the middle of a ruined, bloody city. God's damned idiot. What did you think was going to happen? That you'd strike it rich and get cozy with the order while the masters of Ulda looked on? No one crosses the syndicate. The, a syndicate? It's finally sucked in, has it? Well, look at this. Not all your friends, your friends have deserted you. It seems, lucky boy, now you won't have to die alone. O mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble stoneless soul that it may wake to life. Who's that spouting gibberish? Show yourself. This ain't, this ain't part of the plan. Bloody hell, does Lord Little Rito mean to kill us too? <laughs> It's just a golem. Made of clay. 13, that's what I was seeing down there. You are strong, but strong, are you strong enough to withstand this? Well, considering he's almost dead on it. Impossible never has the golem been so sorely tested. Well, he's dead, so there's that. Pretty comfy. The golem could be vanquished. That man is no ordinary adventurer. No. I am a menace. A menace to society. And to the scions, which we haven't met technically yet. I gained a whole 141 XP, guys. Hip hip hurrah. Oh, and there's Tancred. A little late, but there he is. Damn, seems I've missed all the fun. I see you didn't need my help at this... Didn't need my help this time. I didn't need your help the first time, my guy. Massive headache. Thancred. Ever one with the ladies. I would compose a ballad in your honor, but I fear no words would do you justice. The songstress of Ula herself could not rival your beauty. Oh, stop it. I have oft heard it said that a, blo that a blossom's beauty can move a man to love and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. I hear they attacked another caravan. Ah, and business is suffering for it. Bloody Amalja, what stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid. 
and I'll wager that caravan was carrying crystals, much like the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must act quickly. Are you coming, love? You want? You wouldn't keep a girl waiting, would you? Dan Crit's about to go have some fun, then worry about the primal threat. Perish the thought. So tell me, where in this marvel of the city might you lovely ladies be staying? Fast forward. At this rate, grain will soon be more precious than gold. A result of the uncommonly bad harvest, to be sure. And we have you to thank for them, do we not? Aye. This weakening of the etheric flow must surely be linked to Dalamud's descent. Oy. And of course to the primals. A fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Louis Soir will know what to do. We need only trust his judgment. Gotta make some adjustments to the chair. Truly a marvel of Charlene ingenuity. It's as if I could reach out and touch the Aether. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about like before. The scions are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. You can do this. Hmm. This disturbance is recent. The Sultan Tree? Maybe Papa Shen will know something of it. out again. Looks like they gave you quite a thrashing. Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. Our person of interest had already quit, quit the scene. The general very well. I shall be there anon. My colleagues went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect etheric disturbances. But every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might not be simpler to just follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Tread softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Lolorito. I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. The Sultana's enemies grow bolder by the day, and I suspect they have the support of outside forces. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, those bastards would surely have slaughtered us all. <clears throat> I would speak with you further, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at the coffer and coffin later. Until then, stay safe. I shall accompany Weissen and his men. They need protection, and I need more information. Ah, uh, but where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Dankred. A humble scholar surveying the flow of Aether in Thanalan. It is an honor and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope when next we meet, it is under more auspicious circumstances. Farewell. Fare thee well. Ah, wait a moment. It occurs to me that we have... We have met... Never mind. Farewell. Fare thee well. So, that's where we're at so far. Um, so far, things are kind of, how do I, how do I say it? Um, 
What's the word I'm kind of looking for for this? Um, I can't remember what the word is that I'm looking for for it. Um, I can't remember. But yeah, continuing on. Well, bless you, my friend. You risk your life to save ours. Betrayed by my own guards. Gods, I was a fool to trust those men. Lola Rita owns the god's damn brass blades. I should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I could hardly have predicted that their wealthiest man in Ulda would want me dead for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant, for God's sakes. That ruthless bastard and what of, the monstro of that monstrosity, those were his own men. It beggars belief. Well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in Ulda any longer, I'm as good as dead. My associates, my friends, gods, even the children may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you? God damn it. If Lola Rita learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make sure your part stays a secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe you should seek the counsel of Minstrel Melody. She's helped countless adventurers in, their time, in her time. Maybe she'll know what to do. Go quickly now, my friend. Lola Rito's spies may be watching. So essentially, sending us back to, um, sending us back to the, Adventurer's Guild, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, a way for me to do something that I'm trying to figure out how to do and now I can't find it. I'm gonna have to google it apparently. what it is. Huh. That's what it is. I goofed. That's okay, though. Yeah, it was supposed to be set to advanced. That's why. Okay. I was trying to pause the recording but it won't let me because of things, because of my settings. I have my settings set up wrong, but that's all right. Uh, we need to go to the adventurer skills, so. Settle down, Peaky Thunder. You've got nothing to worry about. No one seems to know you were at the ruins. Weissen, on the other hand, is now a, a pariah, about as welcome around here as a rabid wolf, poor bugger. Suffice to say, that boy risked the wrath of the wrong man. Lord Little Rito, chairman of the East Allen Trading Company, generous contributor to the Order of Nalthal, and member of the Syndicate. Didn't we? Didn't get here by leaving loose ends, that one. 
which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even if those blades knew what was coming, it's not like they could refuse to do their benefactor's bidding. <sighs> Don't let this color your view of old uh, PK Thunder. It's true that there are some who ain't afraid to crack a few skulls if it gets them what they want, but most of us are decent folk just trying to make ends meet. You know, a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a marked man, but I believe you did a good thing, PK Thunder, and for that you have my respect. Listen, you've been through a lot lately. Why don't you rest a spell? I have the, I'll have the boys at the hourglass set you up with a room, my treat. Just have a word with uh, Otapa Pot Potopa whenever you feel like staying. In rooms, now available. I mean, they were available already anyway, but. And when you've got the appetite for adventure back, consider taking on a guild leave or two. We have a lot of requests from locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. It'll be a good way for you to earn yourself some extra gil. Eustace can tell you more about how the system works, so go and speak with him if you're interested. Guild leaves now available. Can't do guild leaves to level 10. So this is a level 9 quest. By completing it, you should be level 10 at the end of it. I'm still a menace to society. You now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties uh, currently available in your area. The recommendations list can be opened under the duty under duty in the main menu and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure what to do next, this tool is simple is simple to locate activity uh, makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Ping, and that is it for that. Um, yeah. So, we are going to continue the, the video next time. Uh, I gotta make, I gotta change a bunch of settings and stuff, so we're gonna end this particular video here, but don't worry, another video will be up shortly after, um, just because, uh, again, settings, I've never, I haven't done recordings in a long time, new system settings, all that kind of stuff, gotta fix everything, wasn't aware of, um, but we'll continue on shortly, um, with New Game Plus, A Realm Reborn Part 1, um, as you can see up in the top left, it shows that as well, and we'll kind of just go from there. So thanks again, and we'll see y'all in a little while. Bye-bye.